Tonight at 9, controversy tonight about the case against a former Mobile County Sheriff deputy accused of raping a woman while he was on duty. Tyler Murphy was expected to be in court tomorrow, but prosecutors have asked for a delay, saying they're still waiting on what they call crucial evidence from the sheriff's office. Well, tonight, the sheriff's office says you've got it all. Our Shelby Myers is digging into this one for you tonight. Shelby, you know, people want to know what is going on here. Well, it's unclear right now, Lanise and Byron, but what is clear is that the Mobile County District Attorney's Office and the Sheriff's Office are at odds over evidence. Tonight, the Mobile County District Attorney's Office filing a motion to push back a preliminary hearing for a former Mobile County Sheriff's deputy accused of rape and sodomy. Investigators say in February, Tyler Murphy turned himself in after Mobile Police started looking into accusations that he sexually assaulted a woman while he was on duty earlier this year. The Sheriff's Office says they were alerted to MPD's investigation and fired Murphy. Murphy's preliminary hearing was supposed to be tomorrow, but according to these new court documents, the DA's office filed a motion to delay that hearing, saying it's still waiting for the sheriff's office to turn over, quote, crucial evidence. We do not have uh, the complete uh, documentation for our file yet. Uh, that's something that happens in a lot of cases, um, especially one uh, with you know a lot of moving parts to it. So you know that was a routine motion to continue. Uh, there's uh, a couple of reports that we're waiting on, and it takes time to complete those, um, but that does happen, especially in you know, class A felony type cases. But Mobile County Sheriff's Office spokesperson Lori Miles sent me this statement saying, quote, we have fully cooperated with the DA's office and turned over everything that is needed for this investigation. Miles adding that it was even turned over a while back. Murphy's attorney, Christine Hernandez, telling me the DA's office is stalling, saying, quote, if the DA's office doesn't have its evidence and the sheriff's office has provided everything, why are they moving forward with charges against my client? One thing both District Attorney Keith Blackwood and Murphy's attorney agree on, the case will be a tough one to try. That's because the alleged rape victim died in a single car crash in late March. Now that preliminary hearing has been reset for June 7th. A judge will determine if there is enough probable cause to send this case to a grand jury. Right now, Murphy remains free on bond. Live tonight outside Government Plaza, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.